Are you a native Spanish speaker or a Spanish learner and would like to teach your children Spanish? Learn in this video the best Spanish chunks to teach your children and some amazing tips to make sure your child grows up bilingual. I'm Maura, Spring Spanish teacher, and here is your first scenario. ¿Quieres este o este? Este. Vale. Cuídalo. Vámonos. Número uno, verbs to ask questions. So, in that little role play, you can already see our first question in action. ¿Quieres? Use ¿Quieres más? If what you want to know is if they want more food, for example. Or add a verb ending in R after it to ask about anything they might want to do. Like this. ¿Quieres comer? ¿Quieres dormir? ¿Quieres jugar? Another useful verb to ask similar questions would be tienes. Es especialmente importante porque se aleja del inglés. Notice how most of the following questions would be asked with the verb to be in English. Tienes hambre. Tienes sueño. Tienes sed. Tienes miedo. Lastly, taking your child's age into consideration, Try to play around with question words, like this. Hola, llegué. ¿Cómo está mi nena? <laughs> ¿Qué pasa? ¿Por qué lloras? Otra vez. ¿Cuál quieres? ¿Dónde está Samantha? Chunk alert! ¿Cómo está mi nena? is an indirect, very natural way to ask children what's up with them. I know you do this in English as well, so just know it is as natural in Spanish. Take into account that nena is feminine. Use nene for masculine. Also, substitute nena for any other pet name, like bebé, chiquita or chiquito, amor, y sé naturalmente cariñosa o cariñoso en español. The link in the description gives you access to our free essential Spanish chunking kit, where you'll surely be able to find more useful chunks to use with your children, since it's filled with the most common ones. Número dos, chunks to use at home. Buenos días, hora de levantarse. Cepillate los dientes y ven a desayunar. Hora de is a very useful chunk to indicate many different moments of the day. You only need to add a verb after, usually ending in R, as in Hora de cenar Hora de ducharse Hora de recoger Hora de irnos Toma Dame el teléfono. Gracias. Vístete y recoge tus juguetes, por favor. By the way, make sure to stick to the end if you want to know a few funny chunks you can use to keep your child feeling entertained and free in Spanish. Además de los consejos para enseñarles español que tenemos para ti. Back to our role play, the verbs toma y dame are easily used on their own and go a long way into solving many different situations, including craving love from your child by saying things like dame un abrazo or dame un beso. Other sweet things you can say to your child could be Buenas noches, dulces sueños. Te amo. Número tres, courtesies. Before we get to the funny chunks, let's go through a few courtesies that will keep your child, well, cordial in Spanish as much as in English. Apart from gracias and por favor, which you can find in the previous sections, también podrías enseñarles. De nada. Con permiso. Disculpa o lo siento. Buen provecho. Salud. Notice that we say salud both after sneezing and when cheering. You can teach them both. Número cuatro, 
funny chunks. Guacala, eso es caca, déjalo. All right, let's get real for a second. Guacala isn't really a word. It's a colloquial expression to say ew or gross. Caca is the informal colloquial translation of poop. But we don't only use it for that. With children, we tend to use it like I did. Esencialmente para decir, no toques eso. Also, it's a good idea to relate Spanish to anything they find fun or exciting. The word que is very useful for this. So you may use chunks like the following. Que divertido. Que gracioso. Que emoción. Another thing you can do is use their interests to your advantage. Enseñándoles los colores si les gusta dibujar, por ejemplo. Maria Fernanda made a whole video about colors that can help you out with that. But you can start with the basics, like amarillo, azul, rojo, negro, blanco, verde. O tal vez les encantan los animales. Maria Fernanda also has a video on animals you can check for this. Meanwhile, you could start with gato, perro, pájaro, pez. Número 5. Advice. Our first advice to teach Spanish to your child would be to stick to one parent, one language, if this applies to you. Or link it to both parents, leaving the child to learn the country's language at school. Lo importante es que no mezcles los idiomas y las fuentes. Another advice for teaching English to your child would be to link the language to a specific person beyond the parents. Puedes contratar a una persona que hable español y que te ayude a cuidarles o que venga a enseñarles el idioma un par de horas a la semana. An alternative to this would be to link the new language, Spanish in this case, to a place instead of a person. Es decir, una habitación de la casa en donde solo se hable español. You can check the description of this video to find references for this advice and more. Lastly, it would be very common for the child to rebel against the new language. For those cases, our advice includes Always answer in Spanish, even if the child switches to English. Pretend to not understand when the child speaks English. Richard Simcott's tip él le habla en alemán a su hija. Y cuando ésta le contesta en inglés, él responde. Qué pena, tenía una sorpresa para ti, pero solo en alemán. All right, for a little bit of practice, try translating the following to Spanish. Leave it in the comments and I'll make sure to check them. How funny! Are you hungry? Do you want to play? Time to go to bed. One person who could inspire you with this subject is Yulia Divyatkina, who raised her daughter Bella with eight languages, including Spanish. Spring Spanish teacher Mariana actually spoke to her in Spanish. Check out Bella's amazing Spanish now and also learned about what her mother did so she could learn all of these languages.